All right, we are back here on Civic Center Wrestling, and we are ready for the United States Tag Team Championship match. The Midnight Express, beautiful Bobby and Sweet Stan will defend against the Legion of Doom, the Road Warriors, Hawk and Animal, along with Paul Ellering. These two teams right up there as two of the top contenders for Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard's World Tag Team belts as we go to the Civic Center, and we are ready for the U.S. Tag Team Championship match. And here we go. for action here US Tag Team Championship match about to take place here in the Civic Center as you see the championship belt being displayed here US Tag Team belts on the line one fall 30 minute time limit and the challengers accompanied by precious Paul Ellering at a combined wrestling weight of 585 pounds Hawk and Animal the Legion of Doom the Road Warriors and their opponents from the dark side. With a combined wrestling weight of 427 pounds, accompanied by Jim Cornette, Beautiful Bobby, and Sweet Stan, the Midnight Express. One fall, 30 minute time limit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for this second of our three championship matches tonight. We've already seen Barry Windham successfully defend his United States Heavyweight Championship. Now we have the United States Tag Team Championship on the line, the Midnight Express against the Road Warriors. And as I mentioned at the start, Colin Elbow tie up here, to a battle between two of the top contending teams for that World Tag Team Championship currently held, and I do underscore the word currently, held by Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard as they will face Dr. Death, Steve Williams, and Sting. In fact, right after this match is now beautiful Bobby backs Road Warrior Animal in. An animal, all 305 pounds of him, just runs over beautiful Bobby. Animal now going to work on beautiful Bobby Eaton and that clothesline just absolutely takes Bobby Eaton's head off. Nothing but power. And there's a leaping elbow. We mentioned the power of Road Warrior Animal also has an uncanny agility for a man of his size. Beautiful Bobby, that running knee a la Harley Race. Very reminiscent of that. Animal blocks, returns with the left, and a huge clothesline as Sweet Stan gets a cheap shot in. Animal was not phased by that. Animal now 
Belly to back suplex on beautiful Bobby Eaton. Another leaping elbow. And now it appears that Jim Cornette has the attention of Animal. And it is Bobby Eaton from behind. Once again, Jim Cornette used effectively here as he gets the attention of the opponents. And a clothesline by Bobby Eaton. Jim Cornette, always a factor in his men's matches at ringside, always trying to distract the referee to gain an advantage for his team. And once again, it was used there just a few moments ago, but now it is Road Warrior Animal back in the driver's seat with control over beautiful Bobby Eaton of the Midnight Express. Animal now with the Irish whip in with Bobby Eaton into the corner. Animal scoops up beautiful Bobby, drops him face first on that top turnbuckle, a snake eyes maneuver, reversal of the whip. And another clothesline sends Animal down to the canvas. Down for a lateral press, not even a one count. Too much gas in the tank, too much energy with Road War Animal right now. It'll be to the Midnight Express's benefit to really wear down this more powerful team and use their speed and their quickness to their advantage. And of course, we know the Midnight Express in their past using questionable tactics in order to gain that advantage. Well, the Road Warriors now make the exchange as Road Warrior Hawk is in, but immediately Bobby Eaton nails Road Warrior Hawk. High back body drop. And beautiful Bobby breaks away at the face of Road Warrior Hawk. And then knee right to the back. Again, I mentioned this team, these two teams, top contenders. For the World Tag Team Belts, the Road Warriors, in my estimation, the uncrowned champions, and of course, beautiful Bobby and Sweet Stan, number one contenders legitimately, as Bobby Eaton with a bulldog takes Animal, excuse me, takes Hawk down, immediately down for the lateral press. And Hawk powers out. As I mentioned, beautiful Bobby and Sweet Stan, just by mere vir virtue of them being U.S. Tag Team Champions, makes them the number one contenders. And Sweet Stan reaches in, tried to break the momentum of Road Warrior Hawk, but Hawk's right back on beautiful Bobby. Hawk now takes Bobby Eaton over to the Road Warrior corner. And Hawk nails beautiful Bobby into the boot of Road Warrior Animal. Goes down for the pin. And Bobby Eaton powers out. Which is very impressive being at Road Warrior Animal Lane on. He's about 305 pounds. A beautiful Bobby, Sweet Stan, all four of these men, supreme athletes here in the NWA. Nothing but the best athletes. In the NWA, and what a backdrop. Speaking of athletes, what a recovery by Bobby Eaton. Picks up Road Warrior Animal. Bobby Eaton with some of the best right hands in wrestling. And a clothesline from the left side. Floors Road Warrior Animal. Bobby Eaton down for the pin. Did not hook the leg, though. And Animal using that 500, 600 pound bench press strength. Able to kick out of that pinning predicament. And another clothesline. Takes down Hall, or excuse me, takes down Animal. Beautiful Bobby. Measuring Road Warrior Animal. And a missile drop kick, but it was sidestepped. Animal got out of the way. Animal now with beautiful Bobby into the corner. And now it is tandem offense here. Double team effort by the Road Warriors. As Hawk just mashes beautiful Bobby Eaton in the corner with that clothesline. Down for lateral press. Here comes Stan. Breaks up the pin. Sweet Stan not about to let Bobby Eaton get pinned and vice versa. Hawk with a chair. He better watch himself. He gets disqualified. There will be no title change. And Bobby Eaton now down and just nailing Hawk with those right hands. Look for a minute there that Road Warrior Hawk was going to use that chair on Bobby Eaton. If the referee was 
looking at that action and saw the chair in the hand of Road Warrior Hawk, he would have been disqualified if he used that chair. And Bob Eaton now with a handful of face rakes away at the face once again of Road Warrior Hawk. Bobby Eaton went for that right hand, but Hawk sidestepped him. Another Road Warrior corner that time, and another clothesline. It, it's so effective to really take down the opponent. Bobby Eaton uses it very effectively and very often. Oh! Hawk nails. Beautiful Bobby right off the apron, and here comes Sweet Stan. Went for a clothesline and actually missed. The action spilled to the outside here on the floor in the Civic Center. Turning into what Gordon Sully used to call a Pier 6 brawl. Bobby Eaton going to the top rope. Went for the missile drop kick, and I believe he did connect as Hawk went down. Sweet standing there, not the legal man in the ring. And Bobby Eaton with a neck breaker. Hawk picks up beautiful Bobby. Nails him with that gorilla press military slam. Road Warrior Hawk taking over here on beautiful Bobby. Hawk stalks his man, might be going for the neck breaker. No, it was reversed, and Bobby Eaton drops Hawk face first. Fans, some Midnight Express fans, some Road Warriors fans. But one thing, these two teams have the respect of the wrestling fans here in Philadelphia, no doubt about that. Running, leaping elbow by beautiful Bobby. I personally cannot wait to see the Midnight Express and Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard in the ring that will be in the Omni on August 26th. Are we going to see a rocket launcher? I believe we are. We have seen it so many times, except it's usually beautiful Bobby who takes flight, but it is Sweet Stan who goes right down on Road Warrior Hawk. And now Peppers, those right hands out into the face of Road Warrior Hawk. Usually it is beautiful Bobby we see take the flight. Reverse thrust kick by Sweet Stan. Could be it here. And Animal nails. Well, broke up the pin, but in the process, nailed the referee. Sweet stand up on the top. Nails Hawk off the top. Double team effort here. Look out. Double backbreaker. We have seen the Midnight Express use that move before. Sweet Stan with those martial arts skills coming to the forefront here. Sweet Stan, of course, a native of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, is a master in Korean karate, as a matter of fact. Hawk now, what's he going to do here? Unbelievable modified power slam as he is showing his power. And Sweet Stan with a reverse DDT takes down Road Warrior Hawk who gets right to his feet, that's scary. It's almost like he's trying to lure, Sweet, uh, Sweet Stan's trying to lure Hawk into that Midnight Express corner. Well, he's there now. Sweet Stan with Bobby Eaton now down with that atomic leg drop. The atomic drop into a leg drop. And now it is beautiful Bobby controlling the the head with that neck vice, chin lock, controlling Road Warrior Hawk. Sweet Stan looking for a tag. A 
And now both men get the tag. Sweet stand back in. And immediately goes after Road Warrior Animal. And Stan doing the right thing here. Goes for that double thrust and Animal with a running elbow. Animal now. And takes him over with that modified power slam and Animal is feeling the momentum here. As he's going after Sweet Stan Lane. Oh, Stan reversed it. And a belly to back suplex plants Road Warrior Animal on the canvas. This could be it. Rolls him over. And not even a, only a one count, not even a two. Still a lot of power left in Road Warrior Animal. Irish whip in. Elbow right to the jaw of Road Warrior Animal. Got to think at some point the Midnight Express are going to try to go for the rocket launcher. They have won many, many matches with that particular offensive double team maneuver. And once again, we're going to see the atomic leg drop. Midnight Express looking awfully good here. They are really taking the battle to the Road Warriors as now a double Irish whip in and a double elbow. And sweet Stan Lane showing confidence that this match might well be in hand but never count the Road Warriors out. Over the top he goes. And he nails Animal off the apron. I don't think Jim Cornette was actually helping Road Warrior Animal up because he likes Road Warrior Animal. I think he just wanted to get him up and back in the ring so that his men could finish him off. And now there's a reversal by Animal on the outside of that jawbreaker. Sweet stand back into the ring. And Sweet Stan leaps up and nails him with that elbow smash right to the back of the head. Reversal into the, no, over the top. That was going to go into the corner. Sweet Stan caught on that top rope. Nope. Nails him. Double axe handle type maneuver by Sweet Stan. Oh, blocked. Looked like he was going for that double percussion shot right to the throat. Sweet Stan now. We have seen him do this before. That leaping off the top rope clothesline from the left side. Midnight Express, you got to give them credit. They are keeping the more powerful man in their half of the ring. Classic tag team strategy here. And yes, it might be time. We may see the rocket launcher right here. Beautiful Bobby Perch. Sweet Stan throws him off. This could be it. No, Hawk, oh, excuse me, Animal kicked out. Unbelievable. We have seen before when the Midnight Express do that particular finishing maneuver, it is over. No question about it. And Animal goes sailing over the top. I think this is frustration now. The Midnight Express knew that that was their match to win. Beautiful Bobby tearing the broadcast table apart out here. Animal into the table. Well, I'll tell you what, Midnight Express, they are incensed here. They thought it was going to be over after the 
The rocket launcher. What is beautiful Bobby doing? What is beautiful Bobby doing here? Beautiful Bobby is going to the top rope. Animal is on the table. Look out. Look out! Oh, an elbow from the top rope! Onto the table. Animal is down. I don't know how Road Warrior Animal can continue after that. Unbelievable. Beautiful Bobby leaps from the top rope through the table, and somehow this big man is moving. He is trying to get to his feet. And he's rubbing his face into the floor here in the Civic Center. Drops the elbow on the back of the head. I don't know how this man is even moving. It just shows you how tough Road Warrior Animal is. I don't know how I don't know how he's going to get back in the ring. He is down. He is not moving. This is going to be a countout. And it is your winners by countout. And still, U.S. Tag Team Champions, the Midnight Express.